Hey guys, welcome to Spacey's Arcade, and yes, welcome to uh, my little mini disaster that I just had where all my quarter arcade machines came flying down off the shelf. And yes, this is a shelf that I put up myself. It's been up for a very, very long time. I think over, uh, gosh, it's gotta be at least a couple of years. And guys, all my quarter arcades fell from that top shelf, hitting the Astros on the way down. Um, luckily it doesn't look like there's damage there, but we have certainly some casualties here, so I guess, if nothing else, I've just performed the first uh, unofficial drop test on quarter arcades, and perhaps we can get some value out of that. <laughs> At least something, guys. Something out of this tragedy. The Dig Dug ended up all the way over there. Um, I was actually sitting here working I was actually working on one of the Spacey's uh, journey videos. If you guys have checked those out in the Discord forum, I'm posting up the whole journey of Spacey's Arcade. And while I was doing that, I heard this really strange crick, 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 crick sound. But what the heck is that? And I thought, because I had my headphones on, I thought, is it something in the happening on the on the video? I couldn't work it out, and next minute, BAM! The shelf collapsed, and all the arcades came flying down around me. And, of course, I was sitting here, so just, the Dig Dug just missed me. Um, but, yeah, guys, <laughs> what a disaster. And Galaxian ended up all the way over here. So it certainly could have flown down that way. So, <laughs> what do I do? I mean, I guess, you know, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, I'm, I'm gonna learn something here, surely. I put up a lot of things um, in my life, guys, in terms of shelves and stuff, and I've always been pretty careful in terms of judging the weight and, you know, determining the length of screws and the number of, or brackets and you know this one did have two fairly sizable brackets these brackets here I guess if you look at the screws though hmm, probably not doing the job although I did have it rested on the top of the door frame as well but that's not a lot when so much of the weight is coming forward and uh, this is the result uh, you know, I, I, you can't, you know, these are just material objects, guys. I didn't get hurt. That's the main thing. And it is what it is. Um, I just need to learn from it. But look, while we're here, <coughs> let's have a look and see what the damage is and how these machines fared. I'll tell you what, guys, it's going to have, look at this nice big dent there. This is now going to look like a machine that has traveled around a bit. It's been bought and sold been played in arcades but actually other than that I'm sure I'll find other things but other than that immediate little dent there the old dig dug is pretty powerful well this shows how long it's been up there guys <laughs> dust the dust on the top so yeah dig dug pretty good now this one here Oh my goodness, this is a super special because this was a limited edition Pac-Man for the 40th anniversary and signed one of only 256 guys. And it looks like it may have escaped damage. It's fallen from the top. It looks like it may have escaped damage. Oh, just a little bit of the T-molding on the bottom there. But wow, other than that, a little dent on the back here. I think that's just the T-molding coming out a bit from Ollie Bolly. That I'm actually 
somewhat happy about because um <laughs> guys this dust is tragic because yeah that would have been that would have been a real shame given that a rarity so I dodged a bullet there as opposed to the original pac-man guys this is looking like some really bad pickup <laughs> this is in pieces I, I think i'll be careful with this one i'm gonna have to pick this up this one is absolutely splattered. So if you've got a Pac-Man quarter arcade, guys, don't drop it. This might be the result. And next to it, we have a Ms. Pack, which is also completely destroyed here. You know, the artwork in that looks like it hasn't been scratched, but yeah, that's a bit tragic. My favorite game of all time Galaga looks like it's got a little bit of beating up on the side there but overall oh, and up the top there it's sort of just coming away a little bit if nothing else guys again some some patina I'll be careful to pick that up properly after and check it all out but again may have dodged a bullet on one of my favorite arcades just a little bit of damage and then over here we have right up against the leg of the pinball machine get this one over and this guys is the bubble bobble and it looks like we might be lucky with this guy a little bit of a dent at the little back there Nothing to worry too much about. <clears throat> More of uh, Ms. Pack flying out into the nether regions. And then Galaxian, which fell all the way over here. Which uh, beat, beat Dig Dug in terms of the furthest, furthest throw. And it's got a little ding there. Maybe a little ding on the side. But overall, it looks to be okay. No major scratches. And of course, yeah, the shelf coming down on the Astros, luckily, it has not damaged the Astro Cities. Could have come down and smashed the glass. <laughs> Literally, guys, it's just happened. I can't even get out, out of the arcade at the moment because the shelf is in the way of the door. My two daughters were home at the time, they heard the crash and came running over to make sure that I was okay and I of course let them know that I am okay but don't open the door <laughs> cause some more mayhem so anyway guys that's the uh, <laughs> the unscheduled update somewhat ironic as I was as I said editing some Spacey's Journey stuff well this also happened on the journey a lot later than those earlier videos and I just got to learn from it guys just got to learn from it lucky to be okay just be careful with your shelving be careful what you put up on the walls I am a little bit concerned now now that that's happened I'm actually a little bit worried about the Star Wars pachinko machine We've got another one of these in the garage and these are held up by you know, a couple of uh, things this is really really heavy I mean I do sort of work out the physics in my head in terms of where the weight distribution is but just knowing all my repli little replicates they're okay but just knowing that this could you know this was been up for so long you know over a couple of years and just thinking that everything's sweet and hadn't I haven't changed the number of quarter arcades and for this to happen just randomly while I'm here I mean it's got to come down even when you know my children come through the door or something could happen at any moment wow Okay guys, well, I, uh, 
that's my update. That's my current update. Hopefully we'll get back to something a little bit more normal in the videos coming up. Um, I'd, I'd, I'd say if you like this sort of stuff, please like and subscribe, but that I don't want this sort of stuff happening. I'm certainly not going to be going smashing up arcade machines, so I think this is a one-off. I'm all good, guys. That's the main thing. Material stuff can be replaced easily enough. We live and learn. See you on the next episode. Hopefully it's better than this one. Ciao for now.